Hello, this is Janila, the person behind Crafty Crochet Castle, and in this video, I'm going to show you the pattern to crochet this beautiful ferns. This fern has a total of 15 branches and it has a repetitive pattern. I'm sure you can find many uses for this fern. You can use it as an applique or even as a bookmark. To crochet this fern, I'm using size 10 cotton thread in green, scissors, 1.5 mm crochet hook and a stitch marker. Let's begin working on the fern. First, I'm going to start off with a stem. So I'm going to do a slip knot, followed by chain 15. To do a chain, I'm going to yarn over and pull through this loop. This is my first chain. I'm going to do 14 more chains in the same manner. Once we've done 15 chains, I'm going to start working on one of the branches. So if you would like, you can go ahead and use a stitch marker to mark the end of the stem. Now let's work on the first branch. For the first branch, I'm going to start off with chain 3. And from here, I'll be working on the leaves. So for the leaves, I will do chain 7. followed by a slip stitch in the seventh chain from the hook. So this is the seventh chain from the hook. To do a slip stitch, I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull the loop through both the loops. So there I have made my first leaf in my first branch. So for the second leaf, I'm going to do chain one and then I'm going to begin working on the leaf. So I will do chain 5. And I will do a slip stitch on the 5th chain from the hook. So this is my 1st, this is my 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th chain. So there I have made my 2nd leaf. Now I'm going to do chain 1 for the branch and I'm going to work on my third leaf. For my third leaf, I'm going to do chain three and followed by a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. So this is my first, second and third. And there is my third leaf. So I'm going to do chain one again and now we'll be working on the leaf which is at the center. So for this again, I will be doing chain three followed by a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. So now we have formed the leaf which is on the top. Now we'll be working on the leaves on the other side of this branch. So we already have a chain one over here. I'm going to do a slip stitch in that chain. Now I'm going to start my leaf on the other side. So I will do chain three, followed by a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. And in between this chain three leaf and chain five leaf, there will be a chain. So in that chain, I will be doing a slip stitch. Next, I'll be doing another leaf over here. This leaf has chain five followed by a slip stitch on the fifth chain from the hook and I will be doing a slip stitch in the next chain one over here. This chain one will be between the chain five and chain seven leaf. Now we'll be down to the last leaf of this branch. In this leaf I will do chain seven followed by a slip stitch in the seventh chain from the hook and I will do a slip stitch on the next chain. So there we have made our first branch in the fern. So if you notice, there'll be two more stitches remaining in this branch. I will be doing a slip stitch in both of them. And then we will be back to our stem. So 
so there we have made our stem and our first branch so now i'm going to repeat the same pattern to branch two three four and five before beginning each branch i will be doing chain four for the stem so i'm gonna do chain four and work on my next branch this branch has the same pattern as this branch one so i will meet you after i complete five branches after completing five branches on one side our fern looks like this all these branches have the same repeat pattern now let's work on branch six so before i move on to branch six i'm gonna do chain four now let me begin branch six so i will do chain three for the first leaf i'm going to do chain five followed by a slip stitch on the fifth chain from the hook chain one for the branch and for the next leaf i will do chain three followed by a slip stitch on the third chain from the hook followed by chain one for the branch and the tip leaf so this leaf will have chain three and a slip stitch on the third chain from the hook now we'll be working on leaves on the other side before that i will do a slip stitch on the chain one between this leaf and the tip leaf now let's work on the next leaf the leaf will have chain three and a slip stitch on the third chain from the hook now i will do a slip stitch in the chain one which is between the first and second leaf for the last leaf in this branch i will do chain five followed by a slip stitch in the fifth chain from the hook and i will do a slip stitch on the next chain one next i'll be doing slip stitch in the next two chains for this branch and here we have completed our branch six for branch seven i'll be following the same pattern i'll start off with chain four for the stem and then i will continue working on the branch Now it's time to work on the branch which is on the tip so for this i will not be working on the stem but i will start branch six pattern directly after completing branch seven So here we have completed the branch which is on the tip of the fern. Now let's continue working on the branches on the other side of the fern. We will be following the same pattern as we did on the other side. So for branches 9, I will be following the same pattern as branch 6 and I'll meet you after I complete that branch. After completing branch 
9 I will do a slip stitch in the next four stitches of the stem So there we have completed our first branch in the other side. Now I'll do the same thing for the next branch and I'll meet you after I complete that branch. So this is how our top part of the fern looks like. Now for the next five branches that is to be worked on the other side of the initial five branches, I'll be following the same pattern. The pattern would be to do a slip stitch in the next four stitches of the stem. Followed by the same pattern as we did on the branch one for the, for the branch. And I'll meet you after I complete the 15th branch on the other side. So this is how the fern looks after completing all 15 branches. The next step would be to do a slip stitch on the remaining chain 15 over here on the stem. So once you've completed slip stitch, you can finish off over here and weave the tail in. This is how the fern looks after weaving in the ends. I hope you enjoy crocheting this along with me. Please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.